you are welcome once again to the Berians TV YouTube channel. Today we will be looking at um, another topic which is titled Concentrating on Circumstantial Will of God instead of His Perfect Will. Every genuine Christian ought to seek the perfect will of God. But unfortunately, majority of Christians, they look for loopholes in the word of God. They look for blurry scenarios in, the, in some events or blurry scenarios in the Bible, in the word of God. They want to hide under those scenarios to do what they want to do. A good example, if a Christian wants to tell lies by all means, then he will quickly point you to Abraham that said Sarah was not his wife in order to prevent him from being killed. And he will tell you that the Bible did not say anything. Maybe God hold him responsible for that or not. And you see that kind of uh, attitude many Christians have. So they look for some imperfect things in the word of, I mean, events or incidents in the word of God, they want to hide themselves under such. Another circumstantial scenario in the Bible is when some Christians want to do some things by all means, they will tell you that, uh, but David held, I mean, David had shoe bread, which he ought not to eat. And God did not hold him responsible for it. These are the kind of uh, the life majority of Christians are living. They are just trying to look for where they can hide within, in between in the word of God instead of seeking the perfect will of God. Let's see what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. I read first New KJV. It says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good an acceptable and perfect will of God. Let's hear it from New Living Translation. It's a bit clearer. I mean, it's clearer there. It says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then, and that means until when you allow God to transform you and change the way you think, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. It is clear in that verse of the Bible why people look for loopholes in the word of God. It's because they love, they want to copy the customs of this world. They love this world. They don't allow God to transform them, to change the way they think. And so long as they continue to live like that, they can never have the perfect will of God. They can never know the perfect will of God. But God is saying, anyone who will know the perfect will of God must allow God to transform him and change the way he thinks. And if that is done, such an individual Christian will always seek the perfect will of God. It is the perfect will of God that would profit us as Christians. And that is when we will enjoy God to the fullest. But looking for ways to cut corners, looking for where to just hide in the word of God or in some incidences in the scripture will not pay us. We are only doing ourselves. And I pray for you listener today that the Lord will help you that you always seek the perfect will of God. Just looking for one excuse or the other, uh, Abraham, Abraham married two wives, uh, uh, Solomon married 100 wives, uh, this one married 10 wives, is it wrong to marry more than one wife? All these kind of things, you know the kind of Christians, they are Christians who has not been really transformed, whom who have not allowed God to change their the way they think, to change their orientation. The will of God is what a genuine Christian ought to seek, perfect will of God. And this will happen when we allow God to transform us and change the way we think. May the Lord transform us as we allow him and change our whole life so that we will seek his perfect will always, all the time, in Jesus' name. Amen.